Supreme Court has rejected the petition for investigation into the allegations of bribery against judges. The court said that the petition is derogatory and contemptuous but won't initiate contempt. We, de we depreciate filing of this petition without verifying facts, the court said, adding that we hope that and expect better sense will prevail. By filing this petition, damage has been done and doubts have been unnecessarily cast over the integrity of this great institution, the court said. We are joined by lawyer Mrs. Kamini Jaiswal who came to the court for SIT probe against allegation against judges. Ma'am, how do you react to this today's verdict? Uh, I don't know. It's neither here nor there. Because they have, you know, none of, we had never said that there is an FIR against the Chief Justice. We also know the law that there can be no FIR against the Chief Justice. We had only filed this petition in the interest of the institution that the investigation of an FIR which could lead somewhere to the court should not be conducted by CBI which is in the hands of the executive but by a special investigation team headed by a retired Chief Justice of India. We did it in the FOP to protect the institution. I think we have been here longer than most people and we were really in the interest of the institution had filed this petition and uh, they don't want it, TK, let CBI go on, let CBI do what they want now. In this petition, they have found certain faults with us that we have not looked at the law regarding. We have never said that FIR was registered against the C uh, Chief Justice or any judge of the Supreme Court. And they have also said that recusal. Anyway, all these principles have to be, but, but, but we will but, see. But who mm. says... Uh, Saying that it's, it's a contemptuous, not yes, yes, they have not, held not, us guilty of contempt. They have, we wanted those very doubts to be. Good, yes, uh, maybe I don't know. They don't think I don't know. They would rather be investigated by CBI or whoever it is. Let the doubts remain in the mind of the people. If that so be it, so be it. We have Supreme Court Bar Association Chairman Mr. R S Suri, as well as Mr. Ashok Ban, one of the senior executive members. Sir, how do you see actually uh, Attorney General while speaking yesterday said this petition has created a wedge in the bar as well as in judiciary. How do you see today's verdict? Well, <clears throat> I would say this petition has really caused grievous injury to judiciary and consequently onto the bar also. But by and large, bar is not split on this issue. But uh, judges, judiciary definitely has not come out and uh, in, in a very good light because in the sense it seemed as if uh, inside uh, uh, controversies are coming on the uh, coming on the fore but uh, with regard to the effects of this case the three judge bench has gone minutely into this and has held them that there's they are guilty of for forum shopping they did not get the right uh, court, court that they wanted to have, therefore they mentioned again. Uh, they also held that uh, their conduct was scandalous and it would have been scandalizing the Supreme Court. And uh, they have also said that same senior uh, representing in both the sides and the basically the same petitions, even typing etc. being the same, they are absolutely guilty and worthy of being uh, held for contempt.